start. He did get a couple starts last year for Virginia in relief of Alex Rose. So we are off and ready. The whistle sounds, and you got that rolling star. International rules is what we're playing. You'll see the face off. That's a guy you don't want to leave alone, and Canada doing a good job already on the man up situation. Another face-off violation on Virginia, taking it right down and scoring is Inacio. So 2-0 Canada. Good start for Inacio too. As the game of lacrosse continues to grow, the face-off, the X position has come that much more important and you're starting to see more athletes play that position with even better stick skills than they did certainly when I played the game at a high level. So it really puts the defenseman in a tough position when you win a face-off draw out the front. Do I slide to the face-off coming down or let him take that shot? That time UVA let him take the shot and they chose wrong and they made him pay. Yesterday, Inacio went nine for 18 and he did PD LaSala going up against Inacio who had a chance as Inacio who will be at Ohio State coming up here. He got to do this yesterday too, don't forget. Pops that way out, and Virginia will recover. And he buries that one to the back of the net. Yeah, Walker playing for his assistant at Denver, Matt Brown. Taylor Ray, also a part of this Canadian coaching staff. Graduate student from Rockville Center. Five to one now, Virginia finally, about 12 and a half minutes in, get on the board. And now they're starting to win some more faceoffs, as Ryan noted, getting a little bit more into their groove. But uh, textbook footwork and the release of the shot was ideal for the situation. Four goals, two assists in the championship last spring against Maryland for Matt Moore. He's a big game guy, and we saw him rise in the biggest moment. Quickly off the face. And now Virginia trying to keep this run going. He Not certainly has played well. Both the goaltenders actually have been playing good. Gavin and Dobson have been excellent here in through a uh, quarter, quarter and some change. Both teams making the changes after the faceoff, won by Inacio. After the whistle, of course. A tough spot to make a save in that situation. And uh, Team Canada made him pay in, in, in that one right there. Don Donville, excuse me, was able to get- Never saw that one and they stung one to the back of the net. Virginia, or Canada dialing up a hidden ball trick. They have a couple quick ones after the timeout. Seven to three. Here comes LaSala taking the shot. At all four corners, he gets his hands free and he cans one to the back of the net. That's a great goal. Nice finish by Ryan Smith. You see some of that experience come out with Smith just graduating from Robert Morris. We had such a uh, the close defense as well. They've been doing a great job with their footwork, playing defense, excellent job on the clears, getting the ball off the turf. Uh, all around solid effort out of Team Canada and their long sticks. Yeah. So getting great goaltending play. And then Virginia, on the other hand, they got to clean it up a little bit on the offensive end, a couple unforced turnovers, and not always producing high quality shots. So against Team Canada, it's advantage of it on an easy dunk in front of the cage. A senior here played in 10 games last season with a start, former Under Armour All-American coming out of high school. Launched Barry, a big time player, had a goal and an assist yesterday making his senior team debut this weekend. That a huge career at Richmond will be there again this upcoming spring, taking his grad year. How about how good college lacrosse is getting? I mean, in the college rules, I believe he would have fallen into that in arc inside the arc. That probably wouldn't have been a goal in college, but playing international rules, so it's 11 to five. Off stick low. Big time goal by UVA, shuts, sets it up, McIntosh delivers. Abel Braun wins that face off. He's coming and taking most here in the second half. Like what he's done. Sticks of Team Canada, ever. We talk about those stick skills, Ryan, and of course the box background, LeClaire picked by the San Diego Seals for the fourth pick in the 2020 NLL Draft. Looking forward to seeing if 
he can make an impact for them here as they return to play coming up in December. Relentless so far against this Virginia team who's shown flashes and now looking to finish things strong in this fourth with another game coming for them later on today too. Yeah, absolutely. They look really sharp right now. You know, uh, not I didn't think it was a great third quarter out of Team Canada. Uh, a little bit sloppy and the ball movement. Anybody out there in the sport right now, so finds courier on the backside for an easy dunk and so nice this summer to watch teat and the pll because of course we have been robbed of teat the last couple years uh, you know of course university a hill academy product where he was a team captain there and of course that's quite the honor at such a prestigious prep institution oh they've definitely placed off stick side and again, tells Noons, turn and rake that one out. That was a quick hitter there, back-to-back -back goals for Team Canada. And they certainly continue to look sharp here today. That pass by Inacio looked like it was knocked down by Paul Rodriguez. He was a part, and we talked about the Hill Academy earlier, Ryan, that they beat the USA U19 team in 2017 in one of these sort of exhibition games. So we talked about that Hill Academy. A lot of guys from Team Canada came out of that program, you know, headed by Brody Merrill. Absolutely. They're getting, you know, the top. It's a big challenge for them, not only in this game, but they will be challenged against Team USA as well, uh, who's got an extremely talented roster. And that's something positive right there, something positive to grab from, pull from, to take into the next matchup. I'd imagine we'll see a lot more of Connor Shelley.